just... Smell it. it smells really sweet. Malty. Now have a smell. My name is Matthew Wade and I am a, a roast master, master of disaster at Coffee Planet and uh, I am in charge of uh, creating and developing the blends and um, uh, just making sure that uh, we have the best quality product as, as can be. Um, so I got into roasting 13 years ago now. Um, in New Zealand, so I left art college without a job, and as most art college uh, leavers experience, they can't get a job because their credentials don't uh, don't help them very much. So I um, ended up working lots of cafes, independent cafes up and down the North and South Island of New Zealand, and uh, <coughs> all of those cafes have. Um, roast their own coffee because of the location that they're so far away from um, coffee producing countries. Um, so I learnt the trade very quickly and, uh, and then decided to take that skill to London um, and then have found myself uh, bringing that skill to Dubai. So uh, roasting coffee obviously is uh, very important because if you, if, if you didn't roast it, you wouldn't be able to drink it. You know, it's, it, it's a green bean. You know, it's a, it's a raw green bean, um, which is really solid. It's really hard. There's nothing you can do with it. It doesn't have any flavor. It's only the roasting that puts the flavor into the coffee. So what we do is we, we uh, taste the coffee um, that the farmer sends us and then we work out what the coffee tastes like and how we can enhance it through the roasting. For example, uh, if the coffee is a, a light, uh, floral kind of coffee, we want to keep that, we want to retain that and show it off. So the way we would do that is a lighter roast coffee. So roasting it lighter will enhance the acidity and the brightness. Uh, if, if the uh, coffee has a lot of um, caramel aromas or uh, natural sweetness, we might want to enhance that by increasing the caramelization, so roasting it for a longer period of time. There's a whole load of different things that we can do as roasters to increase the, uh, increase the flavors and the attributes. It's up to us to make sure we're doing the right thing. So uh, a dark roast coffee would be uh, really heavy uh, and chocolatey cocoa and a light roast will be bright and floral. After the roasting phase is the third stage in roasting which is the development stage uh, and that's the most crucial part because that's where we can influence the flavour in the bean where, where we get the caramelisation etc. Right, the beans are starting to really dry up now, they're kind of getting uh, darken a little bit um, after the right amount of colour change. There we go. Now this is a roast that is really specific to the region. Coming from Europe I would never have uh, thought about roasting to this kind of profile but it does actually get some quite interesting flavours come on, coming off of it. So what I've done now is I've dropped it into the cooling tray and I've turned the fan on so that it's sucking air through the coffee and I need to cool this as quickly as possible and just keep it turning to keep it consistent so I don't get any hot spots. But that's it, that's one batch. 